Hey guys, Deanne Taylor here. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss the new Dynamics 365 mobile app for sales, which is currently in preview. I will show you how you can enable this in your environment and how to download the mobile app to your device as well. It's a pretty cool app besides being able to review data from Dynamics 365, you're also going to be able to view data from Exchange in the app as well. Hope you're interested, so take a look. If you want to get access to this public preview and kind of check things out for yourself, there's just a couple of things that you need to do first. You need to go ahead and enable this, obviously turn this on in your environment. And you can do that by obviously navigating to settings and then administration and then opening system settings right over here. So you'll see that there is actually a mobile client tab over here that you can go to and then you see over here the Dynamics 365 sales mobile app preview. So this is where you can turn that on by just setting that to yes and then obviously clicking that OK button. The next thing that you will need to do is to actually install that mobile application. So you can install it on an iOS device or on an Android device. And there's actually here on docs, there are some instructions on how to do that. And this is also where you can see, right, that you can install it on iOS or on Android. And what I'll do is I'll actually drop the link to this particular page in the comment section as well. So you can kind of go through that. But what you need to do here, for example, for iOS, is right on your iOS device, go to this particular page, which is the preview version of the iOS app. So let me go ahead and actually uh, go through those steps on my iPhone so you can kind of see what that looks like. So here I'm on the exact same website that I just showed you on the browser. I'm just now accessing that website, obviously by using my mobile application, my phone. So you can see here, step two on your iOS device, go to the preview version of the iOS app. So you wanna go ahead and click on that. And that will take you to this test flight app, which you will need to install. You can see I already installed it, but you can click here on obviously view an app store and that will allow you to install that. Now, if you actually don't use this link, if you go directly to the app store and then install it, that's not going to allow you to join that beta test. So you're going to have to go through these links. So I'm just going to go ahead and open my test flight. Obviously you're going to install that. You're going to open right, that test flight app. And it's just gonna take a couple of seconds here before that Dynamics 365 sales preview app will show up. And from here, obviously, you can just go ahead and install the application on your mobile device. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of seconds here while this is installing. And just so show you some of the other screens that you can click through. So you can just go ahead and open that app. So the first thing that you'll see is that home screen, right? As soon as I open the app, it takes me to the home screen that has a lot of different types of information on here. You can see here some upcoming meetings I have on here. You can see my last meeting, which was at 10 a.m. and then my upcoming meeting in 35 minutes that are showing on there. So this is not showing all of the meetings. This is just showing your last meeting and then your next upcoming meeting on here. If you wanted to see all meetings, you can go to meetings, which you can see below here on that command bar. Uh, then we see uh, some recent contacts here. So it doesn't matter how you accessed those contacts. It could have been through the mobile app 
or through the browser, right? The system will just remind you or re remember that and then show you those recent contacts. And then you have quick access to those contacts. Obviously, those are contacts in Dynamics 365. And then if I scroll down a little bit further, you can see other recent records that I have accessed, right? So I can see some opportunities, an account record, a lead, etc. And then underneath that, we can see some of those assistant reminders, right? Such as uh, an opportunity that's closing soon, any records that I didn't have any activity with, etc. And then I can perform actions on those, obviously, right? I can dismiss them, snooze them, and mark them as helpful or not helpful, obviously, as well. And then if you scroll below a little bit further, you can see that there are some insights on here as well. Now, the important thing about this app is that it's not just showing data that lives in Dynamics 365, it's also showing you information regarding data that lives in Exchange and Outlook, right? So these insights are obviously, right, emails that are living inside of my Outlook. If I scroll back up, if we look at the meetings here, these are not just meetings that live in Dynamics 365, meetings that are tracked into Dynamics 365. Those are actually meetings also from Exchange or Outlook. Now, the important thing to remember here is that it will only show you meetings that have at least one attendee that is outside of your organization, right? So you need to have uh, an attendee with a different email address than your own domain, obviously. And this also means that if you have a reminder in your Outlook with no attendees, right? Maybe you need to pick up your kid from soccer practice or something like that. Those will not show up. So let me actually show you that by going here into my calendar. You can see here that I have this deal discussion at 10 o'clock, then I have 11 o'clock, I have a meeting with Bill to discuss that opportunity. And we saw that obviously also coming up on the mobile app, right? We can see here our deal discussion and our meeting with Bill right over here. But then at noon, I actually have lunch with Heather, but I did not send her that invite. I just put it on my calendar as a reminder and that's why it's currently not showing up under my meetings. Now, if I drill into those meetings, so for example, the meeting with Bill to discuss an opportunity, you can see whether or not this particular meeting was regarding a Dynamics 365 record. So you can see here, this is not a connected record. I don't have any information on this attendee either. I don't have a first name or a last name, just that email address. The other thing that you'll see in here is also whether or not this person has responded to this meeting, accepted it or declined it, right? And then obviously, if you look up top here, you see the name of the meeting, you can see the time frame, right? The start date and the end date of the meeting. And if there were any notes in here regarding this particular meeting, a description, you will be able to see that as well. Now, you can click into those attendees, right? So let me just do that by clicking on this arrow. And since I don't have a contact record with this email address, you can see that it allows me to create a contact record directly from within the application here. So you can see here, it just plugs in the email address also in the last name because it doesn't have any other information. But now I can just go ahead and save that contact directly from within here, obviously. Now, I just mentioned as well that we also have the ability to link this meeting to a record in Dynamics V65. So when you click that regarding field or the set regarding link, I should say, you can see that it actually shows you a list of some of those recent records. And if the record that you want to set this regarding to isn't there, you can just go ahead and click on search. And then you can just obviously search for that Dynamics 365 record from here. Now it's important to understand that you can set this meeting regarding, right, a Dynamics 365 record, but you cannot undo that. You can then change the 
the record that it's regarding, but you cannot undo that tracking from the app. So it's important that you understand that. Now let's take a look at a meeting that is tracked in Dynamics 365. That's my 10 o'clock here, my deal discussion. So if I click on that, you can see again, right on top here, the name of my meeting, the location, start time, end time, and below that, you can see some of the description, right? What is in the body of that particular meeting. So if I click on that, I get additional uh, information that was in that particular body of that invite. Now, you'll see here that there's a Microsoft Teams meeting with uh, the ability to join, right? Normally, that's a hyperlink that you can click and then join that meeting. So you can see that currently that's not enabled, but that's something that's on the backlog. So they're going to add that so that you can click a URL directly from the app and then attend a meeting or, or look at a website or something like that. The other thing that you see here is that if you have more than five attendees for a particular meeting, you can see that only the, the first five will show up here. You can obviously review all of the attendees by just clicking on that view all uh, hyperlink, right? If I click on that, you see that now I see a list of all of those attendees. Again, I'm going to be able to also see their titles, right? And then whether or not they responded to this meeting already. So I can see Angel has accepted and all of the other folks have not yet sent me a response for this particular meeting. Now, again, I can see here that this particular meeting is tracked regarding this opportunity, which is called demo deal. Now, it's important to understand is the fields that you see below here are actually coming from a quick view form. So what you see here under opportunity deal, pipeline phase, estimated revenue, estimated close date, those are fields off of my opportunity quick view form. If I wanna go ahead and update those, you can click on quick edit, and now I can start updating some of those fields. So you can actually set the form order for the different types of fields in Dynamics 365. So that's kind of how you can decide which of those quick view forms will be shown, right? For each of those uh, entities or each of those tables. And then I can obviously also open this opportunity inside of Dynamics 365, right? I can just click on that open opportunity link that you see there. And then I can start working on that opportunity directly here from within the app. If I scroll down a little bit further, you can see that notes are also visible here in the app and I can add additional notes in here as well. Now, keep in mind that if there's multiple notes, it's just going to show you that most recent one on this particular meeting page. If you want to see all notes, you can just click here on notes and that will show you all of those related notes. And then obviously from here, you can click the icon here in the top right, right, which allows you to add an additional note. Now, I did want to mention that if you're actually going to attach an image to a note, that that's actually going to behave more as an attachment. And the reason why I'm mentioning this, let me actually bring up here the application in the browser real quick. So if I go back to that opportunity here in the browser, right, you can see here that this is actually a note where we put in a picture here from the browser. And you can see that that's just visible here. I can see that. But the difference here is that this is that image that was associated to that particular note in the mobile application and now you can see that I cannot get a visual I actually have to click on that and then I can download it and then I can view it so that's kind of more uh, the same way that an attachment works so keep that in mind as well okay so let's go back here and then we have some reminders right again some of those assistant cards this is just related to this particular opportunity, right? This one, opportunity closing so soon, demo deal. That's actually, right, as you can see, this particular opportunity. And then some additional 
reminders. I have some emails that are unread and some emails in my inbox requesting a meeting and a potential lead. Then next to the home button, you see the search icon over here. So if you actually click that, then this is going to allow you to use relevant search. So I can start obviously to type information in, but you can see here, I have some recent searches in here, some recent records in here. So obviously in order, in order to use this, you need to make sure that you have relevant search enabled right in your instance. So let me just go ahead and start typing here a data, right? So it's kind of already showing me some of those records that I could be looking for. So I'm just going to type in here a datum corp. I'm going to click on search and you can now see here, right? My total results and they're also grouped by table, right? So 19 opportunities, 13 cases, couple of accounts here, contacts, etc. From here, I can also perform some additional filtering as well. If you click on this icon here next to the 50 results, let me just try and click on that. So I can search by owner, by record type, or modified on and created on. And that's how you can very easily access some of those records. Now, when I access that record, this is also a good example, right? Again, that quick view form that is showing me some of that data here in the sales app. Let's go back here. Then in the middle, obviously, uh, you can see that big plus button over here. So from here, I can add a new note or I can add a contact. Now, I did give Microsoft some feedback to say, hey, it would be very nice if we can also add a meeting directly from within here. So that's also something that's hopefully being added to their backlog so that we can uh, very quickly add a meeting from within here as well. And then obviously meetings, right? This is showing us all our meetings. I mentioned earlier, if you go to the homepage, this is just showing you your last meeting and your next meeting. But if you go to meetings, this is showing you everything, right? Also from past day. So if I go to Thursday, I can see my meetings. And then obviously today, I can see all of the meetings that uh, I have scheduled today, which again, obviously it needs to have, like I said earlier, right? That uh, one attendee at least that is outside of your organization. And then lastly, if you click on the ellipse with more, that's actually going to take you to the Dynamics 365 app. You, are, you actually are selecting the app that you want to log into when you first sign into the app. And I actually clicked on Sales Hub. So this is what's taking you to that sitemap, right? I can see here, right, my dashboards in Dynamics 365, Sales Accelerator, my accounts, my contacts. So now I'm just back into Dynamics 365 and I can just start working the records in Dynamics 365. So this is kind of what we had with the quote unquote old app or the current app, right? Um, the real difference here is really that homepage, the ability to search obviously, and the meetings now showing up in here. I think this is uh, going to be a really differentiator, right? Because again, now I don't have to uh, go through all these different apps on my phone, right? I can view all uh, of those records directly here within the new sales app. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you click subscribe so you never miss another video again. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Until next time.